This is a new F-Series fiberglass rod from Scott. I'm here with Jim from Scott to talk a little bit, perhaps first, about the nature of glass, Jim, and, and just, you know, why would I choose a glass rod over one of the, say, fast action rods that we see so often today? Oh, sure, Leighton. So check this out. <laughs> glass, from our point of view, isn't about trying to uh, make a fly rod that, uh, let's say, is good for targeting saltwater fish or warm water species or uh, spay fish, let's say. Um, and I see that a lot in the industry. To us, glass is a material, because of its highly flexible nature, um, the fact that it, it can easily bend down into the handle um, <laughs> sure with has. very little pressure on it, uh, is a material that loads with very little weight out of the tip. And so if you're gonna fish in a place where 15 feet of line is a long cast, yeah. um, this material is ideally suited. And so uh, what we've done is we've made a highly focused small series of rods that are optimized for very short casts and typically smaller fish. Because uh, if you wanna make a cast with, let's say, what do we have here? Maybe uh, less than a meter of fly line out of the tip top, and you want to be able to actually form a loop and control it, yeah. uh, a material like this that bends deeply uh, is ideally suited for right. it. Um, so the rod's, and, rod's almost becoming an extension of the line in a way, like it's, the dynamics are moving right back up the rod. Absolutely, yeah. and um, you know we've been using this material since 1974, yeah. so we've got about a 45 year history with it. Yeah. Um, and uh, I feel like, um, uh, Using the right material for the right application is an essential component of what this project is all about. Yeah, um, gotcha. And the nature of modern glass, let's call it, for want of a better term, you know, I, I'm not a glass user myself. But my, my last experience with glass was my uh, father's rod that I inherited when I first started bait fishing. You right. know? Like, and, <laughs> and that was as stiff and heavy as all get out, right. and no feel in it and that sort of thing, but it didn't matter, I was bait fishing, right? But, you know, what, what are we looking at in today's glass technologies? That yeah, so, so, so what's really cool is that for the type of fishing we just described, really tight quarters, short casts, um, accurate, you know, cast to little pockets in, in little creeks. Yeah. Um, this is actually a high performance fishing tool. Um, again, because you can form a loop and control the line with a short amount out, you're not, you're not forcing a, let's say a graphite rod through its motions, trying to make it do something it's not well suited to do. Yeah. This is actually perfectly suited for that. So uh, you can really enjoy the feeling of the cast. Um, you can accurately place the fly. You can really enjoy the pull of typically the smaller fish that live in those environments yeah. um, and, and put a bend in the rod, which yeah. is really cool. Um, so it's, this is not a, a novelty rod. In fact, uh, it's kind of best in class really when you look for at it purpose. in terms of for the purpose, yeah, right? Yeah. So it has things like titanium strippers and snake brand universal snakes and uh, CNC machined reel seat and floor grade cork. It's a serious fishing tool for sure. Yeah. It's, it's lighter than, a, than almost any graphite rod. Yeah, um, right. Super light and weight. Um, one of the things we did with this series was we made sure that all of them packed into a very small rod tube so they'd fit in a day pack. Because right. typically the kind of fishing you do with this rod takes you on a hike. Yeah. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna be spending some time on your feet to get to where you're fishing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so if you're hiking in for an hour, three hours, four hours, it's nice to be able to put a small tube yeah, next to your away. water bottle yeah. and, and take off up the stream. So, yeah. um, so a lot of details uh, considered to make a high performance creek rod. Um, so uh, this is definitely not your granddad's bait rod. <laughs> <laughs> definitely <Yeah>. not. So. <laughs> And, and what's the nature of the, the glass, the actual material itself, oh. in terms of the way you lay that up and, and, and the way that yeah. works these days to make that not yeah. my grandfather's rod? Absolutely. Know? So uh, this is a uh, highly specialized weave. Um, so it's got uh, glass fibers going in different directions, um, right. and, and that helps uh, 
put stiffness in the direction we want stiffness, reinforcement in the directions we want reinforcement, and then it's all held together by the same epoxy resin that we use in the Meridian. Oh, right, um, okay, yep. So uh, it's got a very high-tech modern resin in it, um, which allows us to make a very thin-walled rod, which is why it's so light. Um, it's also got really good recovery speed for glass, even though it's, it's very flexible. It yep. straightens out pretty quick and it'll throw a nice flat loop um, without, a, without secondary bounce in the bottom of the, of the loop leg. Yep. Um, so uh, all kinds of, of things have gone into this uh, design-wise, um, including a new lighter hollow internal ferrule, um, uh, and then just a lot of the cool little touches you'd expect from us, a measuring wrap, alignment dots, um, you know, fit and finish that's that's yep. really nicely done. Well, so. it's, it's Scott. Yeah. <laughs> the finish is Scott. Exactly. I would, I would say that so. in that simple a term. Um, um, and the, the range of the sizes available and weights? Oh, yeah. So uh, it starts as small as a five foot eight inch three weight um, and goes up as the biggest rod is a seven foot two inch four weight. Right. Um, so most of them are kind of in the six and a half foot range, three weight type rods. Yep. Um, that seems to be the sweet spot for those small creek rods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, well, I think we might have found uh, yet another rod our uh, cameraman Dave Anderson would be well interested in, being Twig Water Man. And we might have found a rod that I might be able to go back to glass again after exactly. 40 years. Well, I, I'll <laughs> tell you, take one of these up a creek for a day. Yeah. Um, you'll have so much fun fishing. I, I, I might guarantee, not go back. yeah. <laughs> I guarantee it'll become a regular part of your arsenal. I think yeah. you might be right. So, all right. Well, thanks well, for awesome. your time, Great Jim. to see thanks you, Thanks for joining yeah. us on Fly Life TV. Thank you.